the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the words of the gospel, our sins be wiped away. All right. So, as I said earlier uh, at the beginning of Mass, it is a big day today, Divine Mercy Sunday. Now, that general topic of divine mercy, that has come up plenty of times at this church, at least, in the last uh, couple of years. My favorite thing that I love to repeat about this is that mercy is the number one primary attribute of God. It's not his power. It is not his role as maker of heaven and earth. God the Father is the God of mercy. Everything else is derived from that. This year, you have every opportunity to enter fully into the promise of Divine Mercy Sunday. There is a plenary indulgence on the table, and you don't want to pass that up. So a plenary indulgence, a.k.a. a full indulgence, total remission of sin and all that, it's like a a blank slate for for your soul, regardless of the sins of your past. I like to describe a plenary indulgence as industrial strength cleanser for your soul. So at home, most days, you wipe off the counter to get the crumbs off. And every once in a while, you wipe it down with a soapy sponge to get rid of the coffee stains and other splatters. But then, I don't know, maybe two or three times a year, you break out the spring cleaning good stuff and you scrub that counter as clean as it possibly can get. It's not the sort of thing you have the time for every week, but every once in a while, you do that. So, wiping off the crumbs, that's simple prayer. The soapy sponge, that's going to confession and or making a genuine act of atonement in life. And the industrial strength cleanser is a plenary indulgence where the very power of Jesus blasts any sins from your spirit like bleach on so many germs. Now, you might be asking yourself at this time, what are the ingredients to this spiritual cleanser? Well, nothing you haven't heard of before. Essentially, The Indulgence for Divine Mercy Sunday has five active ingredients. One, go to confession as close as possible to today. They say 20 days before or after the target date is appropriate. So go to confession. That one's almost obvious. You're not going to be doing much spiritual cleansing without confession. Ingredient two. Receive communion today or as soon as possible if you are waiting for an opportunity to go to confession. Ingredient three, pray for the Pope's intentions. So you can accomplish that with a single Our Father or a single Hail Mary. Uh, And basically the, the reasoning behind that is we're all supposed to be praying as one with the church. So we're praying as one, no matter where we are in the world. That's three. Four, resolve yourself to resist any and all future sins, regardless of how successful that resolution proves to be in the future. The point is, you are at least desiring not to sin. And then, condition five, ingredient five, Pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, which I will be uh, leading very shortly after Mass. Stick around if you can. If you don't have time right after Mass, do it yourself. It takes like eight minutes. It's so easy. Just Google Divine Mercy Chaplet. You'll be fine. Those five things, 
the plenary indulgence is yours. Excellent way to spend the day. Now, before we move on, I do want it perfectly on the record. This is not magic. This has never been magic. A lot of people are understandably uncomfortable with indulgences, which is why I so rarely preach about them. Indulgences, more than anything else, they call to mind a remarkably corrupt era of church history. And for that reason, there are plenty of people out there that think that we should do away with indulgences entirely. We should pretend that they don't even exist and never did exist. And frankly, that misses the point. That misses the point. Indulgences are not salvation for sale. You can't buy salvation. Mr. Luther had an excellent argument about that. He was completely in the right about that. And those church leaders back in his day, those church leaders who began selling indulgences to pay the bills, they fell into a critical bad habit. But the error was their misuse of church teaching, not the church teaching itself. Indulgences are granted to us when we are uniquely in line with the wishes of Christ and the will of God. They are not awarded to us like prizes to be won. If that was the case, you probably could buy them. But no, they are they are ours as acknowledgments that we are doing exactly what Christ wants us to be doing in life in general. And again, I mean, that's what leads to salvation. What leads to salvation is being in line with Christ in both your desires and your actions. How exactly are you supposed to do that? How exactly do you know that you are in line with Christ's expectations? Well, confess your sins, be one with Christ in the Eucharist, pray with the worldwide church, resist future sins, and be devoted to the mercy of God. That is the lion's share of what God wants for us in general, any day of the week, any day of the year. So really, when you think about it, Divine Mercy Sunday is merely a special time of the year when we have the chance to welcome his mercy into our daily lives in a deeper way. So please, consider making the effort Confess your sins, be one with Christ in the Eucharist, pray with the church in unity, resist future sins to the best of your ability, and trust in the mercy of God. If you do those five things together, they will prove to be industrial strength, cleanser of the spirit, and honestly, sooner or later, Every single one of us needs a good spring cleaning of the soul. So let's not squander the opportunity while it is before us.